This is fine. You see the disconnect here? The prophet does everything for reason. Ah, there we go. Yes. And the pogroms in Europe for centuries. Absolutely. Why didn't the Jews say, let's go to Patagonia instead? Because they're... Let me finish. Let me finish. We will not have the Palestinians and the Arabs oppose us. The Argentinians will barbecue some lovely Argentinian beef. Kosher, of course. And we can eat it over a table. Why did the Jewish people at the time say, let, why don't we go to Uganda? The mother, these are real tangible propositions, by the way. Why don't we go to Uganda? nations and all these other 52 Muslim nations will recognize Israel recognize Israel and recognize Israel's um, um, duty to security as well okay. Okay. Right. the issue is this you have some Israelis who don't agree why was the Prime Minister who made that deal with Yasser Arafat assassinated by a right-wing Israeli that's not a question you can ask me I'm demonstrating he was taken out by a right-wing Israeli okay. at the same time Time, at the same time, Palestinian factions, namely Hamas, namely Islamic, Islamic Jihad. You're calling them factions? Yes, factions. Yes. You've got the PLO, you've got you want, the PA, if, if, you want, if you want to call them Hamas, factions, okay, go on. You've got Islamic Jihad, the Palestinian factions within the Palestinian political okay. and military system. Fa fa faction is a pretty faction. neutral word, I would say. So are you it's, not, a, it's, it's a neutral are you word. Are you not asking me to condemn Hamas? I'm just saying. Are you not, ha ha I'm not asking you anything. Are you I'm, not I'm, asking I'm me saying, to condemn I'm, Hamas? I'm saying it's a neutral word, but keep Are going. Are you not asking me that? Forget about that. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We're not going to get into that. Let's keep certain going. Certain Palestinian factions have did as we've got that right wing Israeli and certain other right wing Israelis, where they have said we don't recognise this agreement. We want all of Palestine back pre forty nine. We want it all back. That is let me finish. Absolutely. Let me finish. Ridiculous. Let me, let me finish. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. I'm going to let you finish. Go on. As some right wing Israelis say, we don't accept the Oslo Accords of. 1993 and onwards, we want as Israelis a Jewish state encompassing the West Bank and Gaza. So they're both at it. Okay. The extremists on both ends are at it. Do you understand my point? Then you have the moderates who say, no, we can have a two state solution and then we'll make agreement on how this is resolved in terms of a Palestinian state and Israel proper, whilst both on each end say, no, we control it all. And some Israelis say, we control it all. Or some Palestinians say we control it all. The destruction of Israel. On, 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 on what basis do the Palestinians so, have Sam, to say from Sam, the to the What I've done, yeah. I've, I've painted you a picture. Yeah, you have, you have. Of the briefly. From your perspective. As, no, this is no. No, no. Uh, we, have to, no. We, have, we have to introduce that. This is no. Okay. Now, to do with the Saudis and their blank check. Are you familiar with Mahmoud Abbas? Go Ibn Mazin. Okay. Ibn Mazin, Mahmoud Abbas. He's the leader of the Palestinian Authority. Okay, cool, cool, cool. In the West Bank. Cool. Yeah. I've seen his face. They're seen his face. who they made the deal with. Yeah, absolutely. The Palestinian Authority. The Palestinian Authority renounced violence and said, we're going to get our land through political and peaceful means. Yes? That's not the only thing they've said, by the way. Okay. Right. Now, the Saudis, along with the Emiratis and others, have cut the check off to the PA. And what did they spend their money on? They said the PA is endemically, endemically corrupt and ineffective in leading the Palestinian peaceful cause. So therefore, we are not going to support you financially anymore. And where, then, where, then, 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 where, then where did they go? Where, then where did they go to get their money? Europe, America. Say the word. Say Europe. the word. Say the word. What do you mean? The Iran, my friend. No, not the PA. I'm getting confused with the PA. The PA renounced violence and recognized Israel. That said, we, through peaceful political means, are going to imp uh, obtain okay, the Palestinian keep, keep state. Going, keep are you with me? Yeah, keep going. We're talking okay. about other factions, but keep okay, going. Okay, right. Yeah. What this is... One thing I'm trying to you're saying a lot of things, and that's fine, because you're giving a lot of context. What this has done... But I've asked I'm you a specific...
specific question. Why have the, the Arab states not taken the Palestinians as refugees the same way Turk, um, sorry, the same way Germany, Sweden, Denmark, and all of these other nations that have absolutely no ethnic connection whatsoever, and they've allowed Arabs to come into the nation? Why are the Saudis not willing to do that? I answer that. But yeah, keep no, no. I'm, I'm just, I answer I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm reminding the talk. I answer that. Yeah, go on. Keep, keep, like 48, 49. Yes, yes, yes. When yes. the 700,000 yeah. left and went to the West Bank. No, no you don't need to repeat that. Went into that. Gaza. Went into, into the neighboring. You don't need to repeat that. And then it's that is not answering the question. Is, and then it's 60, no, it's not. And then it's 67. There was another exodus of refugees. Yeah, okay, stop, stop. Let stop, me finish. Stop, let stop, me finish. No, get, get to the point that you were saying a second ago. The point about, is uh, this. Uh, no, about the Ibn Masood, the PA, and the then Saudi. Right. And the Palestinians themselves. Yeah. Forget the Arabs. The Palestinians themselves refuse, refuse to leave Gaza. Refuse West Bank okay. because they don't want a third exodus because if they vacate the land the land's empty and it's more easy for the Israelis the right wing Israelis not all of them the right wing Israelis remember I pictured two sides of Israelis yeah, of course, yeah. and two sides of the Palestinians those right wing Israelis would move in because it's already occupied they would literally move in more and take the land and they will still stay as refugees oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, can, can I ask you a question can I ask you a question how did Palestine got it was given by the Roman Empire. No, 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 no. Let me ask again. Oh my gosh. We claim it to be a city and a country. Oh my gosh. It was given as an insult. Yeah, yeah. That's why 90% oh of the Palestin Palestinians are refugees. Okay, cool. Gaza, where it was, is Canaan. Yeah, it was it is, given it is, it is, it is. as a promised land to Abraham Isaac, to yeah. Israel. Like Israel was before can I, time. Can I so what, to so what let me what I'm saying. The reason why Arabs don't mingle in the dirt, because Arab wealth do not unless you're integrated yep. so Islam is controlled by Saudi every book from the kingdom of Saudi Arabia my friend so Saudi Arabia the kingdom controls Islam so all the war that is in the region they will not adhere to it because it doesn't reflect who they are as people of the kingdom yeah okay cool but Palestine itself my friend was, if you look at the map of the world there was no Palestine it was called Palestina yeah cool okay. so can how you have it as can I, can, I, can I respond to some of what you said go more, my you brother, you know, if I can go with the hard facts, let's go with the hard facts. Don't get That's emotional cool. with all stuff. We have to go for where it's coming from. Let, 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 because no. Israel is this small on the map. No, but, but you, you, you just spoke to me for like ten minutes, and you don't want me to say anything back to you. Come on, to him. Israel is a nation that was put one to me in a blessed nation by God. Okay, that's cool. It was touched, protected by God, and for a reason, my friend. The land. Wait, wait, wait. You need, you need to go biblical. Hold on, hold on. It's not political because the whole God is political. One sec, one sec. Just so everyone knows, the land of Israel belongs to the Jews. But, but Palestinians are there too, and they also deserve to be integrated into the state of Israel, or we need to either create a second state, whatever. They need to be. There needs to be an integration and a respect for the Palestinian people. But the land of Israel collectively is Jewish land, given to them by God. That's my position. But I want to say something to you, to, to my, my brother here, because he's going for Okay. Okay. Cool. So the bitterness is stolen from me? No, no, we agree, we agree. I want to respond to a little bit of... Yeah, no. I want, I want, I want to respond, exactly. I want to respond to a little bit of what uh, Idris said. What we've done is you've painted a very, uh, I would say, a relatively good picture, given given the time we have. You've given a good summary of some of the kind of geopolitical elements that are going into why Gazans and Palestinians in the West Bank do not want to leave their region. But the question I asked you, is it necessarily why do they feel a strong connection or motivation to stay? But the question I asked is the entire Islamic, Arab, Middle Eastern kind of Semitic world have the financial power to do exactly what Germany, Sweden, Denmark, and a lot of the Western European nations and um, and, mid and Central European nations did by assimilating, not not creating refugee camps, but actually assimilating 
assimilating and giving people homes, giving people the ability to get go to school, get jobs, and changing the entire generation of millions of refugees. There were no refugee camps in, 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 in Europe. There were none. There were no refugee camps in Germany, Sweden. There, there's, there's not a single refugee camp in any of these areas. Because what has happened is the nations that allowed Middle Eastern refugees to come, they brought them and integrated them into their society. Why are the Arab world not willing to allow millions or hundreds of thousands per country to fully integrate, not to just put them in a refugee camp where they're experiencing oppression, but give them actual liberty and a future, and they have liquid gold. The amount of money, the amount of wealth that is under the direct control of these Arab gazillionaires today, they have the ability to give... Wait, 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 wait. They have the ability to literally empower the entire Palestinian people. But what you're, but, but what, yeah, but what you, but what you're saying to me today is that uh, them fighting for a state or them fighting for liberty in a place where they don't, people don't want them to be, is better than the entire Arab world just saying, "Come, we will give you a home, we will give you freedom. You are our Muslim brothers, you are our Muslim sisters. We're gonna get, we're, we're gonna free Palestine." We don't have to go into Israel and fight to free it. The Arab could sign a blank check. The Arab gazillionaire oil barons can sign a blank check and change the situation in a moment. That's what I'm saying. And you haven't answered that question. Sorry, yeah, come. You, you, you can put on you if you want. You haven't answered the question. The difference is this. You've not answered that. All you've told me today is they're fighting over land. You haven't, you haven't told me why there's on land. I'm sorry I'm getting passionate. I have to say that. But yeah, it's your time, go on, my friend. Sorry, those sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all right. Those refugees taken into Germany and Denmark and Sweden and the UK fully integrated. are from where? Fully integrated. Where are they from? Tell me. No, tell me. You must know. Afghanistan, Syria. Majority is Syria. Yeah. With all of those hundreds and thousands and millions of refugees, of Syrians, of Afghanis, that went into Europe, there's Syria. Syria still exists and does it still contain Syrians? Yes or no? Yes. But how many, how many? Let me finish. Let me finish. My does goodness. Afghanistan still exists and there's still Afghanis in Afghanistan. Yes, because they have hot tens of millions. Let me finish. There's only seven Let million finish. Finish. Palestinians. Let me finish. It's a small nation. I'll reiterate. Now, when I said. You can't integrate an entire country into, the, into, into Europe. Let me finish. Go on. I have to respond to that. Go on, go on, go on. I'm sorry. Oh. Syrians still in Syria and the Syria still exist. Of course. Even though they, some of the Syrians went into Europe as refugees, yes. Yes, because oh, of the population me, size. Don't stop. That me. is the reason. This is, stop stopping me. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. I'm not going to say another word. Go on. Has the same occurred with the Afghan? Are the yes, Afghanistan yes. and Afghanistan yes. and Afghanistan still exist? Yes, of course. The difference being with the Palestinians is this. the Roman Empire. If the Arabs say, come in, marhaba, you're welcome. Amen. Let's sit down and eat hummus and shawarma together. Amen. Praise right. God. If they said that, there would be no Palestinians left in Gaza and the West Bank. Good. We, there, that's Good. what we wanted. Good. Now, this is a different they're free. They're liberated. They have a future. Right. They, have, they have a future. Okay. Elaborate and I'll come back. Good. Carry on. What, why would you want Palestinians to remain in land where they're being oppressed? They don't have liberty. They don't have a future. They don't have education. They don't have actual freedom that we all value. That's the the reason we're all here today. It's better they go to a country where they have a future. Would they rather live in that society or would they rather go to a place where they can say, you're my Arab brother, we're one, we're Muslim, we pray together, we, we worship God together, we educate. Like, there's no hatred. There's no, there's no hatred amongst each other. There's no reason why the Palestinians should continue to be martyrs for the sake of validating the Middle East thirst for blood against the Israelites. No it's problem. not right. No pro it's not right. It's not right. No problem. Go on, you go, go on. <laughs> <laughs> with, our, with the unfortunate and disgusting occurrence of the Holocaust. Yes. And the pogroms in Europe for absolutely, centuries. Absolutely. Why didn't the 
did you say let's go to Patagonia instead? Because they're... Let me finish. Let me finish. We will not have the Palestinians and the Arabs oppose us. The Argentinians will barbecue some lovely Argentinian beef, kosher of course, and we can eat it over a table. Why did the Jewish people at the time say, let, why don't we go to Uganda? The mother, these are real tangible propositions, by the way. Why don't we go to Uganda? Because Let me finish. And eat and enjoy peace where the Arabs and the Palestinians are not doing what they're doing to us. Do you know why? The Jewish people said, we believe our land is in Palestine, i.e. Israel. Because it is there. Let me finish. Let me finish. And Jews never left. As, as the Palestinians themselves believe, this is our land. So as, as the Palestinians believe it's their land, and they've got a right to live in their land, wait, and they've got a right to oppose occupation, just as the Jewish people from their pers perspective thought, no thank you Patagonia, no thank you Uganda, we're going to go through hell and back, and we're going to go to Israel because we believe it's our land. Same thing! Okay, then why, let me respond to that, why in 1948, when both parties were given land, money and resources, the Arab state said we don't want the Jews to have a land and they fought and lost territory? If you're saying it was just, it's just they have the 40 acres and the mule, they're both happy. Why at the very beginning, the inception of Israel as a nation? No, 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 it's an important point. It's an important point. No, 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 I'm not. I'm answering your question directly. You just, no, 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 stop. You, you're interrupting me now. You're interrupting me. Why at the very, you're interrupting me, bro. Why at the very beginning of the conversation of what you, so the, the main point you just made was, why, why did the Palestinians, why did the Jews go, look, the League of Nations said, okay, look, Palestinians, Jews, the League of Nations, listen. League of Nations. Listen carefully, the people who mediated the deal. They said, Palestinians. Mediated. All right, come on, man, let me, let me make my point. They did. They're the ones who had control of the land and they gave it to the Jews. Who? The League of Nations. No, you, British, Palestine. The, the British man state, the British mandate of Palestine. Yeah. Palestine was colonized by whom? The British. It was given to the British by the League of Nations. Okay. It was well, given to well, the British. And who the League of Nations? Europe. Europe. Who are the League of Nations? Europe. Europe. Who are the League of Nations? Go on, on, on. Okay, let's go. No, 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 stop, no, stop, no, stop, no, stop, no, 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 stop. Sorry. No, no, you're not cutting me off. You're not cutting me off. I'm, I'm going to finish my point. You're cutting me off. My point is this. Why at the very beginning when they were given land, the Palestinians were giving money, land, resources and liberty, and so were the Israelis. They drew a line and said, okay, Israelis, you go here. Palestinians, you go here. Why did the Palestinians at the very beginning, along with the allied Arab nations, say, we don't want Israel to have a land? They fought at the very beginning. Number they, one. They in, no, so, so the point... What's your question? No, I, I, no I, 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 it was a rhetorical question. Yeah. What, I, what I'm saying is, from the law. very beginning... Yeah, yeah, it's my time to talk. From the very beginning of the inception of this state, the Arab nation decided to make a choice to fight for something they needed to fight for because they already had the land. So they triggered this initial conflict. That is that is an important point. So you saying, so you saying that the Palestinians are indigenous and they deserve land? Fantastic, give it to them. They were given it and they didn't want it. They, they ended up trying to take over the entire thing. So what I'm saying is this, as I said before, the entire Arab world have the power to bring these people and liberate and free them and give them a future. And you're saying they should continue fighting perpetually for a piece of land that the people don't even want them to be there. Just give the state to Israel and Arabs empower the Palestinians. They can easily rehouse 5 million people. And I can guarantee you one thing, I can guarantee you this. In 40 years, when you have Arab scholars, Arab university, um, sorry, excuse me, Palestinian scholars, Palestinian university graduates, weddings, um, how do you say wedding in Arabic? No, I want to I I I know. Huh? Adults, you have, you have, you have weddings between um, liberated Palestinians living in Jordan and living in Saudi Arabia and going to university. Enough of this. They, they, no, they're going to say. Enough of this. No, no, let me finish this the point. This is reality. It is reality and it can happen. Come on. It can happen. Listen. Fairy tale, you no, it's not a fairy tale. No, it's not a fairy tale. You made your point. No, you're not. No, I haven't. You haven't let me finish. You, you, you haven't made let me, your point. You haven't let me finish. Let me just finish in 20 seconds. When these people are living in a new Palestinian reality, they're not going to want to go back to Israel. They're not going to want to go behind the border. They're going to enjoy the liberty that they have. And you say it's a fairy tale. Let me tell you something. 150 years ago, if you went to Jerusalem, it was a barren wasteland. 
There was nothing there. You go to maybe it was barren. Yet today there's a thriving community. So anything can happen. Why can why can that why can that not what was be a barren wasteland? Sorry, Tel Aviv, the entire land of Israel. Yeah, uh, the entire land of Israel. I get a drink there, except Jerusalem. What I'm saying is, there's no reason why that cannot be the future of the of the Palestinians who then move to the Arab states. They'll be they'll enjoy liberty. liberty You're saying freedom. they should continue to fight for something that they don't even need to have. Liberty and freedom. Okay. I say Absolute this. liberty. I say this. The same way the Swedish Middle Eastern people have liberty today. I say this. <laughs> what people or what nation would be forcibly removed from their land and will be given the opportunity to eat hummus and shawarma and call that freedom and liberty? What man or woman would take that? The whole is this man talking what about? What man or woman, let me finish, what man or woman would take their dispossession of their land into another land where, yes, they will be given security? Why, yes, they would be given health care? Why, yes, they would be given freedom of movement? But do you really call that man a man? Do you really call that woman a woman? It's called immigration, it happens finish. all the time. Do you really call that child a child? No. The Palestinians are saying that course of action is a total of surrender and a cop -out to their claim to their land. That's number one. That's why I call it airy fairy Disney. So that's what it is. It's called it out for what it is. Number two, what you're proposing is the evacuation of the entire population of the occupied territories of Palestine, namely Gaza and the West Bank, so the Israelis can inherit that land. Absolutely. That is a war crime. What, you, what the hell are you talking about? A war crime. No one's dying. Let me finish. They walk it there. Let me finish. How is that a war crime? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's a war crime for the finish. Middle East to take in. Let me finish. What? Let me finish. Go on, go on, you're you're going to be surprised. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. You're going to be surprised. You go, you go. You're going to be surprised. No. I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying the, the, no. the, the fraternity in this conversation. Tighten your belt. No. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. What you're proposing is ridiculous. No, it's not. What we should have done is, you know what? We're in London, are we not? Guess what? We're in the Blitz. The Nazi Air Force the, is bombing us left, right and centre. What, what channel is this? The Nazis have got a, a naval blockade using their submarines. Top, using torpedoes to knock down, to, to sink all the ships that are coming from the United States and Canada to give us aid. It's a really difficult time. Do you know what? As Lord Halifax said to Churchill, for example, fact, do you know what? Let's seek peace with Hitler. And I'm not equating them to Nazis, by the way. I'm oh, just no. using this as an example in terms of a, a state of war. Let's appease Hitler. And you know what? Oh, British, this is Churchill in the, by the Parliament. British people, you know what we're going to do? We're going to emigrate to our cousins across the pond in Canada. Let's just go and give it to the Germans. Disneyland! Disneyland! No, it's not Disneyland. You are in Hollywood, my friends. It's not, it's not Seriously, but it's not, let me but finish. It's not. Let me finish. Why did, it, why did the Palestinians not accept the creation of the State of Israel Tell me. in 1948? Tell me. From what I know, from what I've been told by Palestinians, number one, and I'm sure I think you know this, on, number one, Jerusalem would have been an international zone controlled neither by the Palestinians nor the Israelis. It's controlled by but, Jordan now, but anyway. By, at that time, the, the proposition, the proposition by the League of Nations. Jerusalem would have been an international zone, not controlled neither by the Israelis, neither by the Palestinians. But the Israelis accepted that. Let me finish. But they had the plan in mind. But they accepted it. Hold on, they had the plan in mind. This is no, no. Read into it, my friend. They had the plan in mind. The Palestinians said, we are unable to put pen to paper to give up the control of Jerusalem to an international panel. It's not going to happen. Let it happened anyway. Let alone. It let happened let anyway. Finish, let, alone, let alone the other the land that they lived on, which is called the Nakba, the catastrophe. Okay. So my friend, feet on the ground. Hollywood's two thousand miles away. Let's talk miles. reality now. Yeah, and in reality. Go ahead. And in reality, all of the Syrian refugees in Europe today, in Germany, Sweden. I answered that. No, no, no. Listen, repeating yourself, no, please. I, no, I, I'm, make, I'm making sure that people follow the point. 
in reality, all the Syrian and Afghanistani refugees that live in Europe today are thriving. They're living well. Okay, yes, yes, I agree with what you said in the sense that a mass exodus in your, in your, in your perspective or from your view is unacceptable. But the truth is, I've said before, the liberation of Palestine can happen in two ways. A state can be made there or the Arab world can assimilate these people into their territories and give them freedom. You're saying that the second option is not even on the table and that's because you have become invested in the suffering of the situation. An objective, an, an, I'm, 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 an objective, an objective look at this, you have a nation of people impoverished, oppressed, abused, spat on, treated like absolute, a, a, you know, trash, who are, who are screaming, who are screaming, I don't care if they're going to if you're screaming, who are screaming for liberation, okay, and then you have people sitting here with liquid gold who have the ability to do it like this, and you're saying, they should say, no, let them keep fighting, let them keep suffering, because it's better that they're there than the, the future that is literally achievable. It's, it's just there. It, 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 all it takes is just like, several nations to say, hey, look, let's rehouse these people. And if they can't rehouse all of them, then some more Middle East, some more nations on earth will say, we'll take 100,000, we'll take 500,000, we'll give them a future, we'll actually give the name of them to have the freedom. I don't see, and there's no virtue in their suffering. They don't need to be there. They don't need to remain in a place where they're being abused. Because it needs to be said. Because your idea is battle warfare, them, them, them experiencing suffering, it's better for them to be I want to make something um, marginalized clear. in there. No way! I want to make something clear, by the way. And you're calling my solution, which is a real solution, Disney, Disney Dreamland. I tell you it's why. a real solution. I tell you why. You're saying battle perpetually. Why. More children die, more women die. I tell you why. I For what? <laughs> by your logic, with all the suffering that Israeli people have, 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 have received since the creation of Israel, by your logic, then why don't Israelis emigrate? What are you talking about, my why friend? Why don't the Arabs open up? Write a blank check. Hey, you are, you are, what you're saying is so California, stupid. We'll pay for what you're saying, no, do you know what you're saying? Perpetuity will give you free health care as much to one man as you like. It doesn't make sense to today, it's illogical. No, it's not illogical. What, let me finish. What you want is the complete and utter surrender of the Palestinians to give up their claim to their land and to vacate their land. They were given land and they thought, they, they, they were given land, they were given the territory, they didn't want it. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. When the British were in Africa, hmm. and they did what they did. This, no, 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 no. You, no, you're not making that point. Let me no, you're not. No, you're not. Don't no, you're not. Scared. No, you're not. Don't no, be scared. You're not. Do you know why you're not making that point? Don't be scared. You're making a false equivocation. Don't be scared. You're making a false Don't equivocation. Don't be scared. Calm down, sir. Calm down, sir. Calm down. You're not making that point. Calm down. You're not making a false equivocation. Let me finish. This is not colonization in the classical sense. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sam, shut me up. I am. Oh my God. I am. Oh my You're God. not making this. Oh my this is a false narrative. Sam, this calm is a down. false narrative, my friend. Make your point. You're trying to compare Let me finish. Jews who have been there a thousand years ago. Do you want to talk religion? Do, 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 do you want to talk religion? To Africa and they weren't even do you there. Do you want to talk religion? What are you talking about? Religion. What are you talking about? Talking from a religious what are you talking about? Religion. This is not colonization. You cannot even compare it to that. But go on, you speak. I'm sorry. Go on, talk. Me and him, of course. France. France in 1830. We're very. Entered Algeria. Which wasn't there, their land. Let me finish. Let me finish. I agree. Let me finish. They were there from 1830 up until roughly 1962. Yep. The 60s, the, the early to the mid 60s. Okay. There is no The French were so invested in Algeria. Not only did they have people colonize the land that are French go into Algeria. It's just disgraceful, man. The French incorporated Algeria into France as a province, as Algeria proper. Like we say, Kent, Suffolk, Yorkshire, the French said Algeria, Provence, Bordeaux, okay. Calais, yeah. Same. They incorporated fully into the into the French state. Okay. Okay. This is okay. not a comparable situation. It's not. What do you mean? It's not comparable. They were both given land. What do you mean? Two two people, two nations were given about? land. What was your point? You you tried to make an equivocate. No wait. What was your point? I'm gonna speak quickly no, for, 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 for 30 seconds. No, 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 I'm gonna talk for 30 no, seconds. No, 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 no,
point, I'm the point of the point is you're diverting. No, I'm not diverting. Yes, I'm trying to make a point here. Finish. During the liberate the struggle of the liberation of Algeria, opposing the French colonization, it's estimated up to a minimum of one million Algerians died in that process from the mid 50s to the mid 60s in the span of 10 decades. That equates to 100,000 Algerians died per year okay. for their liberation of their land. And do I clap for if that? we take the logical understanding of Brother Samia. Oh my Maybe goodness. You are. You, nah, you're, you're, this, you're, nah, you're, nah, 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 nah. you're capping right now. This is, this is horse, bro. Do you know what should have happened? Do you know what should have happened? Go on, go on, go on. The Algerians, because of their trauma and 100,000 dying PR, the Algerians said, do you know what? Let's go to Egypt. That's not what Let's I'm saying. Go to Sweden. Right that is not what Let I'm saying. Finish. You're making a. Let me finish. This is issue. You're, Let's you're forcing go to represent my position. Let's go. No, Let's go to Speaker's go on, Corner. Go on, go on. Because huh? this is where we can attain yeah, of course. peace so you're, you're, and security. I'm, I'm sorry, Idris, but you've just. Your no, logic no, no. No, he's is a fallacy deceptive. in Disneyland. You've just become deceptive. No, sorry, not Disney. No, you have actually. No, not Disney. You've Disney. You've Marvel! Marvel. You're, you're, you're this actually, is a Marvel movie. Okay, cool. You've it's actually, a Marvel okay, cool, movie. Cool, okay, cool. Okay, come back. You've actually moved into a completely false narrative. You, that's what you've done. All you've done is try and validate and get people riled up with your position. Number one, I don't support what happened in Algeria. Okay? Because you did. No, but you're, you're, you're kind of making a false equivocation here. No, I'm second, not. second, here's no, the difference. Not. Okay, let me talk about you, Spur. Here's the point. You're trying to make I'm it. I'm going to stop you from speaking now. Okay, no, go on. No, 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 let him speak, no, no, no. let him speak. Let him no, speak. I want to hear you. I'm being sarcastic. You're making an. Why is this false equivocation? You're making a false equivocation or a false equivalent between France, a foreign nation entering Algeria or England going to South Africa and killing indigenous people in that country, taking their territory and then me saying, yeah, they should go. No, what happened in this situation, which is what I said at the very beginning, two people groups were given land, two people groups, both claiming that it's theirs. So they said, you know what, okay, we're going to give this territory to... What the hell's going on there? Oh yeah, sorry. You, we're we're going to give this part of the land to Palestine. We're going to give this part of the land to Israel. We're going to give both of them money. Now, modern day Turkey is after the Turkish Greek War in 1924, where there was an agreement between the international community, but namely Greece themselves, namely the Republic of Turkey themselves, where there was a population exchange of the Turks to, from of the Greeks to Greece and the Turks from Greece to Turkey. Okay, it was a population exchange like with India and Pakistan after the British Raj. Okay, that was not the situation in Israel. It was completely different. Yeah, of course, of course. We're completely different. When my ancestors came into Morocco, the Berbers, the Amazigh, did not flee to Spain or south to Mauritania or to anywhere. They stood put, they fought a ferocious war, three major wars. One of the longest conquests that the Muslims took was of North Africa. Yep, to time. But they stayed, they kept their land and they eventually assimilated. Oh, there was no Gaza West Bank, there was no nothing. You Berbers and Mugzig have to stay in Tangiers or Marrakesh, Marrakesh didn't exist, or to Marrakesh only. Or you can only stay here, or you can only stay in Fez, or you can only stay in modern day Casablanca. They didn't do that. They stayed in their land as a population. So there's a difference. You can't equate that to that. Thirdly, it's just let like me finish. Thirdly, you said Islamic wars conquering land. Yes. Yes. You said a Saracen curse sword shouting Allah Akbar, then it is <laughs> come okay. Come on, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, you, right, you said this, right. you said this. I believe Sam's understanding of the creation and the existence of Israel is solely from a biblical religious point of view. <laughs> you hypocrites. <laughs> you point the finger at me, but yet you look at your own scripture to justify come the state on. of Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you? Yes, you do. You do. Do you, to, do you want to finish it? And that white guilt is a form of Christian guilt. Everything I said. White guilt came from Christianity. Everything I said. 
It wasn't based on scripture. I didn't quote the Bible once in any of the things I said. All I said, I didn't, I didn't quote the Bible. No, no, wait, 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 excuse me. The only thing, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Paul, who are you speaking wait, to? Stop, I mean, listen, listen, Sam, listen, who are you listen, speaking listen to? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. When I said Israel belongs to the Jews, that's a biblical statement. I'll, I'll give you that. That's a good point. Thank you. So I acknowledge that. Are they chosen but, people? Yes, of course they are. Who chose them? Oh my God. And what land did he give the chosen people? The, that, Israel. That land, yeah. Where we go? Fantastic. No, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say that's not the case. But what I'm trying to Where illustrate is my entire analysis of everything was purely just based on the historical events that happened. Two nations were given land, and I gave, in my perspective, legitimate solutions. But I, I, I understand your perspective. I can say that. I do understand. They feel, irrespective of how I feel, they feel that it's their land, or that particular part is their land, and they don't want to leave their home. So I understand that. And that's that's a factor that we do have to consider. So I, I can acknowledge that. I, I, I'm happy. I enjoyed the discussion. I, I'm sorry for the hostility at certain points with the crowd, but for the most part, I'm happy that I can speak to Idris about a very, very controversial topic with peace and grace and a genuine sense of respect. If I may, I got a, thank you. I got a message to the Palestinians. Oh, Palestinians. By you standing on that seven square inch piece of land, you are resisting. Oh, Palestinians, by you breathing and being alive, you are resisting. Do not flee your homes. Stay put. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Do not enter. Do not enter Egypt, because it will be another exodus. Stay put. By you having children, you are resisting. By you yes. passing on your religion yes. and your culture and your language, you are resisting. Keep resisting in these in these manners. I, 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 what, the, the statement that they shouldn't leave their homes when missiles are actually going to be dropped is a very controversial Germany. statement. Germany. So I, no, 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 no. But we need to be clear. Don't about, leave we need Gaza. to be clear. That's different. Don't that's leave different. the West Bank. That's a different statement. That's a different statement from saying don't leave your homes when we know missiles are literally about to be dropped in the territory. But you clarify, no, you clarify. He's dropping the, he's dropping the missiles. Israel. It's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to clarify the situation. Who's firing missiles into Israel? Iraq. So, so, so what's the point? The point is, I do agree in part with what he said about... I, I understand and accept his approach and analysis to the legitimacy and the sentiment that the Gazan people feel that it's actually their home and they don't want to go to another country. They want to experience liberty on their land. I do appreciate that perspective and I feel like that's kind of given me a angle that I didn't think about before. And I think that's valuable despite this quite heated conversation. I think that was an angle that I didn't fully, fully, you know. 100%. So I will speak again as we always do. As always, bro. Big respect to Idris. Likewise. Big respect. Yeah, mate. Everyone take it.